doing something different today or had it into a blind. <laughs> we had it into a blind. Looking for a white tail box or doe today. A little bit different than what we're used to doing on the 92 Outdoors channel. But, um, we flew all the way out here to Manitoba, so this is what we're gonna do. The weather's warmer, a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be, than we thought it was gonna be. It's, uh, it's only minus two this morning, and that's the coldest it's been. So, uh, we're typically kinda, we're gonna expect something like minus 10, 15, 20 even, uh, in the mornings. But that just did not happen. Um, apparently it's been a weird year here, so, um, but we're dealing with it, and there are deer. A couple days ago, saw a total of just about 30 does. <laughs> Unfortunately, no bucks, um, but it doesn't really matter. I got a tag for both, um, for, uh, non-resident, so, either way, so hopefully, hopefully something nice pops out, and I got a couple days left here. I'm gonna be out with my buddy John, and he's been with me rolling all week around around the area. So yeah, it's, uh, sun's coming up, so we're gonna sneak into that blind. We are gonna make the best of it out there today, aren't we? That's a resounding yes, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Good luck, Charm. Seven, we just turned legal five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just turned legal five minutes ago. It was nice and cool overnight. And uh, we were walking out to the stand and this big sucker just came walking from that bush line. I mean, we were here what, maybe five minutes early. We were actually late getting out of the house mm -hmm. this morning. And... Uh, you know, we just kind of hunkered down and we had the script perfect. I mean, that was a maybe 200 yard shot. Yeah. Maybe. That was perfect. Like, that was bingo. We got a nice, nice white tail buck down. He Let's looks go, pretty buddy. big. I think, you know, there's been a couple that went down this week. But I think you're taking the cake on I this think one, I'm dude. I taking the cake right now, man. <clears throat> I think I'm in the lead for sure. We waited a long time to see something. Something like that, <clears throat> anyway, of that caliber. Yeah. Under just all the right circumstances. Looking buck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. Same. Cool. We got a whole day rest to to hunt, so that's pretty cool. Um, not sure what we're gonna do yet. Might just leave him for a bit. Yeah, we'll leave him for a bit. He's he's dead, I'm sure. Oh yeah, he dropped like a ton of bricks on that shot. <clears throat> I set up here too. I couldn't get it on film, unfortunately. <laughs> to be honest, my phone wouldn't have zoomed that close anyway, but. Uh, yeah, we'll go find him in a little bit. So we got an eagle fight. <laughs> and I just pushed out three crows too. <laughs> Damn it, Dave. <laughs> Wonder 
how many you're gonna get by the time we get there. <laughs> He's big. Dandy, yeah. Woo. Like I will give him the hope just to be safe, but we've been watching him for an hour now. Done like future dinner. here awesome good job that's so easy. <laughs> and I thank him he's gonna put lots of meat in the freezer for us boy holy man mm-hmm Couldn't have played that one out any better. It's funny though, you're actually late. A little bit. A little bit late. Yeah. You're actually walking to the stand. Yep. And it's coming right at us pretty well. Didn't seem to care. No. He was bleeding pretty good. I had to put a second one in, but look at that blood pressure. Can see the blood in my shadow here. Yeah. I don't think he was going too far beyond this spot. No. Hell yeah. So John is in the white truck coming on the field. I'm going to throw this thing in the back and uh, skin it and hang it up. It's all gutted. And uh, man, what a nice buck, hey? He did good. It happened really fast. And we didn't even make it to our, uh, our little treehouse um, stand blind thing this morning. And uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter when you get stuff like this happening. So yeah. <laughs> Not a bad one. We waited so long for this. <clears throat> Spent hours just sitting, sitting in the right spots. Um, and yeah, like I said earlier, it's it's not um, it's not as uh, cold as we thought it was going to be. So uh, kind of threw us for a bit of a loop as far as what their normal tendencies are. Um, but we waited them out and got rewarded. often gets rewarded so yeah we still got a couple days left so 
and uh, I'm looking for one. So hopefully we can make that happen. <laughs> but uh, for now, we're going to go take care of this. Now those eagles can come back. Okay, we got them hanging and we found, we found the metal. Pull that out, John. Let's see that thing. Cool. It's a 130 grain Barnes TTSX reload. Custom. Yeah, we load our own shit, so. It opened up pretty good. Really nicely. I think it did well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for whitetail hunting in Manitoba. It's been a good one. Um, got to spend time with some great people and uh, see some really cool deer and you can learn a lot. So hopefully it'll have you back next year and we'll be happy to be here again. Thanks for coming along. Similar to last year in November, a nice buck went down in the early morning. Despite this win for us, all week John and I battled against unexpected weather, which in turn provoked rather unpredictable deer behavior. This led to many moments of frustration, doubt, and reflection, but with our persistence and patience, we were able to graduate to gratitude from our irrevocable success. A profound bond exists between those with whom we hunt, especially when we succeed. We create stories together, memories, through our shared struggles and seasoning. This story, like others past, will live with us as we reflect upon it and inevitably share it with others. Thank you for sharing our story with us. If you enjoyed this video, check out the True Tine Outdoors channel. Spencer from True Tine provides a variety of different big game animal hunts in different regions throughout BC. You'll be sure to find many exciting hunts and adventures here. Enjoy.